If you have just come on live, welcome to GP's On Demand Virtual Workouts. Tonight's workout is Get Glutes. It's all about your glutes, so your bum, your thighs, and your abdominals. Tonight's equipment, although you can do the whole workout, just your own weight. Keep by a set of dumbbells if you have them, a long resistance band and a mini band or glute loop or hip loop. We're just going to wait another few seconds, we're going to get started. No dynamic warm up tonight. This workout we like to use the first two, three exercises, keeping them nice and light, especially through set one as well. And then we will add additional resistance as the set and as the workout goes on. Oh, getting ready tonight. So tonight, as well as I forgot to mention, we're doing 10 exercises, 45 seconds on each exercise. You've got 15 seconds to get to the next, and we're gonna do three rounds in total. So a lot of single leg stuff tonight as well, single leg, single hip. So we're not bombarding tonight with too many exercises, but the quality of the movements should be and will be much better, and hopefully you'll get a fantastic workout in the process. So let's get started. We're going to get the timer on and we are good to go. So tonight, the timer is here. It is in 60 second bouts. So you'll be able to keep track on what you're doing. Okay, so we get 30 seconds until the first exercise. We're going to lie on our side and we're going to do a lock clam. So a little bit of hip acti activation before we start. So st have both legs nice and straight, rest the head inside your arm. Then I'd like your toe to be behind the heel. This leg, let the knee drop to the ground and let your hips roll forward. Then from this position, lift your knee off the floor. Notice the only thing that's moving here is my hip and thigh, nothing else. Make sure you're leaning forward so the emphasis is on the hip muscles at the top. I don't want you leaning back like this because then the emphasis is going to be on the front of the hips or the hip flexor muscles. So as mentioned, 45 seconds on each exercise. You've got 15 seconds to get ready to move on to the next as well. Now you should be feeling this on the mid outer portion of your glute. So if you hear me mentioning glutes, that is your bum, switch sides. Now, the reason why your head's resting on the arm is to stop you bringing, it, stop bringing in these muscles, your, your core muscles here, your lateral core muscles. Toe to heel, bend the knee, hips roll forward, and then lift the leg off the ground. Now notice the only thing that's moving just now is my hip and thigh. Okay, next. Let's go into a quadruped position. So your quadruped is on all fours. Again, we're doing this with just body weight. Hands under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. Abdominals engaged, shoulders pushed into your armpits. Spine stays nice and fixed. Think tabletop back. Then I'd like you to lift the right leg. And stay on this side. Now, when this leg comes out, I want the leg to go away from the body a little bit. And you notice that my spine position 
is staying nice and still. So your foot should be just outside the hips here. Okay, and then get ready to switch. So hands in line with the shoulders. Abdominals engaged, shoulders pushed into your armpits, and then start to extend that hip and contract the glute. Now the leg's gonna come out to the side a little bit. The goal here when the leg's straightening out is to resist against rotating as well. Next round, we're gonna add some resistance here. Up you come. So that exercise was targeting your glute in the shortened position, so that end position here. Now we're gonna do a reverse lunge, which is gonna target the glute in the lengthened position. This is where your glute's getting stretched at the bottom. So we're gonna go back to the other leg and then step back, bend at the ankles, knees and hips and sit into this hip and come back up. So the back leg, even though it's a lunge, you are, it's technically a squat. So when you go down, this leg's there to provide stability and balance and you're gonna come back up with this front leg. Abdominals stay tight, glutes stay tight. So make sure your head's in line with the spine here as well. Don't be looking too far down and don't be tilting your head too far back. And then get ready to switch. I'll put this timer on now. I need to remember to press stopwatch again. I should be pressing start. Switch your leg. So remember, use your back leg to provide stability, and then come up from this leg into the hip. Now next exercise, we're going into a side plank, but I'm going to add in a modification, and I'm going to also give you two options as well. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Okay, so, side plank position. I'll give you two options here. If you want to make this more of a core exercise and glute exercise, I'm going to do a side plank with an abducted leg, so the leg's moving away from the body, or you can lie on your side and do a sideline hip abduction. So, side plank position. Feet are stacked. So if you're also with your side planks, then I want you to do this movement here. So thighs pushed together, hips pushed together, lateral core engaged, and then lift the leg up and come back down. So you're really targeting both hips here. Not only this one at the top as you contract, but this hip at the bottom is preventing it dropping. So just showing you one of the main functions of the outer portion of your glutes is hip stabilizers. So basically they are preventing hip shift. Two, one. Now when you're lifting the leg up as well, try and resist against the foot wanting to rotate out. So we'll not make it too complicated, but if you want to get quite geeky, the outer portion of your hip muscles, they rotate the leg in and out 
and away from the body. That's why I want you to keep your foot straight so you're targeting all of those functions. Oh, couldn't get that last one there. Right, next one, line hip bridge. Okay, line your back, feet just outside the hips again. Going to be adding a mini band to this one. Next round. So ankles directly under the knees or heels under the knees. Abs tight, chin tucked, hips up, extending at the top, squeezing your glutes and the thighs. Come back down, move from the hips. Right, next one, up onto the forearms. And then we're gonna do a modified bicycle variation. So we're just not bringing in the upper body here. So rest on the forearms, bring your knees in to the hips, and then drop one leg down at a time, bring it back in. So as the leg comes down, squeeze the glute on this leg, and I'm pulling the knee in close to my body here as well. your abdominals nice and tight. Fifteen seconds, and then we're back to exercise number one. Five seconds. Two. One. Okay, lie back on your side. Side line clam. Now head inside the arm, stacked feet, toe to heel, let this knee drop to the floor, let the hips roll forward. Oh, there's the handsome boy. How are you doing? And then lift your knee up. Again, be aware of keeping everything still apart from the hip muscles and the outer portion of the thigh. So these outer, or your glute here, is coming down and sets into this big band down here and attaches down just below the knee. Hence why we're bringing the knee, ideally, to the hip. Switch. So we could definitely get quite geeky with this workout. If you know me well, you're not quite enjoying that. So toe to heel, bend this knee a little, or the knee will naturally bend, all right? Let the knee come forward, let the hips roll forward, and then lift up. So again, the reason for the toe being close to the heel is minimum knee bend, which means maximum glute contraction. Yep, you just stand right in front of the camera. You want to show? There's Facebook. Oh, he's not interested tonight. Not interested. Okay, so grab your long resistance band. If you don't have that, I'm going to make the assumption that you've did it with a mini band before. Put the band behind your knee. My apologies, behind your thigh. And then create as much tension as you desire with the same hand, holding it with the same hand. Then from this position, start to use your glute to bring the hip up and then straighten out your leg a little touch. Now you can do this one with the band around the back of the thigh 
or you can do it with the band under the foot. Band under the foot, you run a risk of being hit with the band in the face, which we don't want. Again, if we want to get geeky, we're taking out the knee and the ankle here, which means we're taking out the thigh and the, the calf. So we're forcing the glute muscles to do more work. Now make sure your head is in line with the spine here. You maybe notice that I adjusted myself there. Nice length in your spine. Think tabletop back. Imagine you're holding a tray of drinks on your back just now, and you want to stop it from spilling. Next. Reverse lunge, you can continue to do it without any resistance, or you can add your dumbbell. Let's have the weight on the same side as the front leg. So now you've ch you're challenging the hip at the front a little bit more, and your resistance against being pulled for myself to the left. Remember, treat it like a single leg movement with the front leg and glute. Then switch. Make sure your emphasis on this exercise is when you step back and then you get tension on your glute going down. Let's go. So when you step back here, tension on the thigh and glute, sitting to it, and then come back up. Do your best to be looking ahead here as well. Back hip tight, glute. Ten seconds. Okay. And now you're going into your side plank with the abduction or you can take out these muscles and use the hip loop around the thigh and bring your leg up to your side. It's not just about this leg lifting up. Make sure you're keeping these hip muscles nice and tight as well. If you're doing your side plank, think ice picking this hand and nice and tight the whole way up. Try not to lean into your shoulder. If anything, push yourself away from the ground. Then switch. Okay, let's go. Now your next exercise, the bridge. You can feel free to use the dumbbells and have them over the crease of the hip, or you can use the resistance band. I'm gonna do it with the resistance band.
Oh, struggling tonight. Oh, there we go. Try my best to maintain my form. If you feel you can't get the leg all the way up, even try a half rep. I'd rather you focus on the quality of your side plank here if you're doing it like that. Right, so if you're doing a banded bridge, keep your heels on the ground, hand in the centre of the band, have it under the midfoot. When you slide it back, keep your heels close to the ground, otherwise it's going to ping underneath. And then I'm just going to use my hands to provide a bit of support for the band. Same position as before, and then lift your hips up. When you're doing your bridge, make sure you're keeping three points of contact with the ground. Big toe, pinky and heel. Abdominal stay nice and tight. And then drive your glutes into the band to finish. Now you've got your modified bicycle position onto your forearms when you straighten this leg out bring this knee in close seconds so again great exercise for strengthening your lower abdominals and hip flexors so the muscles that are between the hips here and the front of your thighs right last set back to side clam remember nice straight body stacked toe to heel let the hip roll forward so your knee is on the ground and then lift the knee off and do your best to not rotate back and forth stay nice and still then switch. Next exercise is the quadruped hip extension. Remember this position, you're targeting the shortened position of the glutes, so this is here this part, but you're also resisting against, from a core perspective, you're resisting against rotation, so basically you're trying to stay nice and still throughout, not rocking left to right. Band should be behind the mid portion of your thigh. 
and you want the leg going back and out a little bit for this one. Tabletop back. You do not want to be spilling any drinks. Bottles of water, of course. Maybe some Guinness. And some whiskey. So even if I took this hand away, you notice how still I am. So everything you want to be nice and tight through your abdominals. Think 360 degrees of tension. Reverse lunge next. Dumbbell on the same side. Abdominals engaged. Step back, bend at the ankles, knees and hips. Push off. This one, I'm focusing on this nice stretch of my glute, going down in the back of my thigh. Then I'm pushing off the front of my thigh and pulling my hip through to finish. switch. Okay, let's go. So you still with this front leg, you want the full foot in contact with the ground. Three points of contact. Again, big toe, pinky and heel. Three, two, one, down. Then you're going into your side plank with your abduction or your side line abduction. Remember, stacked, nice and line. Again, notice I'm not focusing too much on my reps, just focusing on the quality of the rep. You're still getting your side plank, you're still strengthening your outer portion of your hip muscles. Just a little bit more so when that leg is up, I've been challenged more. Maybe if I'm going to get around to this other side, because this hip is still working as well, it will feel a bit harder. there. 15 seconds to go. Okay, 
four, three, two, and one. So now you've got your banded or dumbbell bridge. Or you could even go banded and dumbbell. So remember, ankle or heel below the knee. Last exercise. Onto the forearms, bend the legs, bring your feet off, and then you're dropping one leg down at a time. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, and right. That was Get Loose tonight, folks. On JP's on demand. Tomorrow night we are off, but we will be back on Thursday with Whole Body Blast, and then we've got Fatality PT on Friday night. Thanks so much to everyone for taking part tonight.